Justina isn't here today. So I'm managing this with my assistant, Chris. It'll be the first time lots of you guys have met her. She's amazing. Best thing that ever happened to me. No exaggeration. Um, hello, Miss Kay. Is that Chris? Is that you? I just want to make sure that's you. I think you might be on a hi Angie hi Amy welcome everybody I was just saying that um Justina my mod who usually helps me isn't here today so my assistant Chris is gonna help me her he is Miss K we're gonna right now add her as a mod if I can remember how to do it it looks like I can remember how to do it so hello I'm back I'm good thank you I've missed you guys too Thank you, thank you for being here. Everybody say hi to Chris or Miss K. Miss K is my assistant. She runs my website, my newsletter. She makes sure I have a business even when I'm not working, which I really, really appreciate. Um, it has been forever. I was back yesterday, but I forgot to change the title to copy and card, so I don't think anybody knew what I was doing. So that actually made me feel better because I was like, where is everybody? Um, as always, everybody gets a free card. Um, drop your first name, last initial when Miss K asks you to, and um, we will get a list going. Hi, how are you doing, Amber? Amber's another mod. I don't know if she wants to mod today, but if she does, everything's the exact same. $10 cash up or Venmo, which I haven't pulled up, so let me do that right now. I was in such a hurry to get on. I forgot. Oh, it's here. We're good. Let me just refresh, make sure I'm logged in. Okay, give me one sec. So if anyone has a specific card, you can cash up or Venmo me. Um, we are not doing any, oh, okay. Give me one sec, it did log me out just as I thought. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Amber. That's a horrible thing to hear. We should talk offline. Um, Will your Husky have babies tonight? She's overdue. If you have a specific question to ask me, you can ask me um, on Cash App or Venmo. Otherwise, everyone is going to get a tarot card from my working deck, um, and hopefully it'll answer the question. If you guys want, we can do yes or no tarot. You tell me. Do you want yes or no tarot, or do you want me to tell you what I'm channeling when I interpret the card? You guys can decide, but everybody gets a free card. If you have a specific question, you can go to Cash Shop or Venmo. It's $10. I'll answer that specifically. Um, that's so exciting though. Puppies. Tell what I channel. Channeling, channeling, channeling. Okay. Channeling it is. In a minute, um, when we get a few more people on here, Miss K or Chris, my assistant, everyone say hi to Chris. Hi, Chris. Tap the screen for Chris because you guys know I can't do this without really helpful moderators. So are you going to be helping us today too? Amber, that's amazing. I think Chris is going to take the list. Um, we're so, 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 so happy to be back. And as soon as she says drop um, your names, she'll start keeping the list as always. Everybody gets one free card. If you have a specific question and you want me to give you a mini reading, that is $10. I am starting to take a client. Ugh. I'm gonna start taking clients on February 22nd. My um, calendar is open on the booking site and the class is still available on all of those things because you don't need me for those. So in two seconds, Chris is going to have to, um, if you have a specific question, it's $10. Otherwise, um, otherwise, just drop your first name. As soon as Chris asks, drop your first name, last initial, and everybody gets a card. Okay. So as soon as Miss K says, drop your first name, last initial, every single person gets a card. Okay, so drop your first name, last initial. Hopefully the card answers your question intuitively. So really think about what it is that you want an answer to. Um, if it doesn't answer the question, hi, you guys, welcome everybody. If it doesn't answer the question, you can go to Cash Shop or Venmo, ask me specifically, and I'll give you a mini reading. If for some reason you need to leave or you miss your reading, um, the replay is always up on my YouTube. Good morning. And when you see the YouTube, you can see what you missed. So, and Chris, Miss K is the one who puts that up. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Angie. Good morning. Hi, Joseph. Okay, Chris, are we ready to start taking the names or you want to wait a second? I think, did, let's see. Should I highlight my hair blue or pink jasmine? That is a good question. 
I think it depends how you're feeling. I'll tell you the energies around um, blue and the energy around pink. The energy around pink is almost empathic and inviting people in to hang out with you. The energy around blue is around your throat chakra. So you're really going to be encouraging communication. So I don't know what it is exactly that you're looking to create. Yes, only drop your names one time. And don't write in caps. Chris is gonna write in caps for me. I have trouble seeing because I'm a stroke survivor. I still have trouble seeing, to be honest, with the caps. Uh, but I get very confused if more than people, more than one person writes in capitals. I am ready right now if we're ready to start dropping names. Keep dropping your first name, last initial. You only have to drop the name once. We try really hard not to have it be too spammy. What you could do if you want to interact is send your favorite emojis, keep tapping the screen, thank us for being here, invite your friends, share. That's super, super helpful. All right, here we go. Let's see, do we have a name? I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Cheers, you guys. Are you drinking coffee too? Mm. Here's the thing. When you're my age, coffee is so good, but you get hot flashes and it's not fun. Okay, here we go. Joseph D. If you could do me a huge favor, Chris, and you could write in um, all caps like Amber is, that is super, super helpful for me. Okay, Joseph D, here we go, here we go, Joseph D. Death reversed, so this feels like a scary card, but it's not, this is a great card. It means that it's the end. Like all the mess and turmoil and drama and crap you've been going through, it's over, it's over. But you need to understand it's over. And how it ends is you need to walk away, right? It's over, but congratulations. That's one of my favorite cards in the deck because it really means that things are clearing for you and it's gonna make you feel better. You are so welcome, so welcome. Okay, who is next? All caps, if you can, Miss K. Tiffany H, hi Tiffany H. Don't forget, if you just dropped on, if you just hopped on, drop your first name, last initial, Tiffany H. I don't know what's going on, but you got the justice card upright. The justice card upright means things will go in your favor. When I was going through my custody battle, I would get this card reversed constantly. And the one day, the one day I finally got it upright, I went to court and they were like, you have full physical and legal custody. And it took years. So let me tell you, this means things are going to go in your favor, whether it's legal, whether it's opinion, whether it's how people are talking about you in a room, things are going to start going your way. This is an extraordinarily positive card. All right, who you will live to see a better day. If you have a specific question, you can go ahead and cash up or Venmo me. The cash up and Venmos are in my link in bio. You can go right there, click, and it'll bring you right there, $10. I'll get an alert, but please tell me so I can check and make sure, and I'll answer the specific question. Jasmine R, keep tapping that screen for Amber and um, Chris. We couldn't do this without them. Jasmine, this one's for you. Here we go, Jasmine, here we go. King of Swords reversed. So there's a man in your life who is just almost sort of having an identity crisis, like feels a little lost, maybe some anxiety, some depression, things like that. What I'm gonna tell you is it's not personal because I feel like it might be something that you're kind of taking on. It's not personal. It could be any man in your life that is just sort of going through it, you know, and what happens in this sort of situation is they take it out on you and make it feel like you're doing something wrong. This is about something internal inside. This has nothing to do with you. So if you've been going through something like that, I just really want to reiterate, this is their stuff. It's not your stuff. And they might need to see a doctor and get a little help. I think it's some depression. All right. Who is next? Who is next? Keep hitting that like button. Drop your first name, last initial. Everybody gets a card. Chris is keeping a list. Miss K is keeping a list. Um, we will be here as long as I can do it. I'm just getting my nerd, not nerve, but like energy back up. Angie S. Ooh, Angie. Angie's getting a little reading because they just jumped out. So you need to have patience. There's a lot going on, Angie. A lot going on. You feel like things are being thrown at you. This is such a good visual. You feel like things are being thrown at you from all over the place and you have no idea how to manage it. The thing is, is all of this stuff is happening so that you can have the foundation and build what you wanna build. I know right now everything doesn't feel like it's coming in the way it's supposed to. You're like, I'm working so hard, when's it? This is the foundation. 
right? You have to build the foundation before you can get the structure and the walls, right? And the windows and all of the cool things, all the inside, the beautiful floors, the granite countertops, you're building your foundation. So trust, right? That that is all gonna come up the way you want it to. So great, great, great little reading. I'm glad it resonated. All right, how are we doing? Keep hitting that like for my mods. Drop your first name, last initial. Brittany A, drop your first name, last initial. Everybody gets a card. If your spirit guides decide you get more than one, like Angie's do, then you get more than one, but we gotta read what we're given. Okay, hold on, give me one second. Brittany A, Brittany A, the High Priestess. One of the most magical cards in all of tarot. This is about our intuition. This is about learning to connect. This is about getting the anxiety completely gone, which is what my shadow work Find Your Light subscription series is about. It's to help you connect completely with, I should have called it the High Priestess School or something, but I think everyone does. Listen, if you have a feeling about something, I mean, really hear me. If you have this nagging thing and you're like, oh, it's anxiety, Ugh, I'm just, trust it. Your intuition is screaming at you and this card is validation to believe what it's saying. Believe what it's saying. Good morning, hi, sweet Sarah. Good morning, welcome everybody who just got here. Drop your first name, last initial, everybody gets a card. Please tap your screen for my assistant, Chris. She's, her handle's Miss K, she's so sweet. She's here helping and Amber's back. Um, we have not been live for, I went live yesterday, but I think it's been close to a year. I'm really, I'm not exaggerating. So it's so great to be back. It's so great to see all of you. I'm so excited to be taking clients again. We moved six weeks ago and things have been crazy, but we are back. Liz V, Liz V. Okay, here we go. Oop. I'm not gonna take this one because I may have dropped it and I just don't want you to get the wrong one. So I'm gonna shuffle Liz V. Liz V, here we go, Liz V. All right, has anybody asked for a question? If you've done a $10 question, please let me know in comments so I can go look it up. You get a mini reading. Liz V, Knight of Wands reversed. So traditionally, this is sort of the fuck boy card. This is sort of like, you know, they make you fall in love and then they take off. So this is my advice to you. You can bench a player. I'm gonna teach you how. If you want to, you can bench a player. Ignore him. Period, the end. Whoever it is who's kind of ghosting you or making you feel some sort of way, take all your power back. Ghost them, okay? Ghost them, don't talk to them. Like, no, no more. Take, and believe me, they'll come running back because they won't understand why, okay? Take your power away, take the power away. And if you have trouble doing that, that's exactly what my subscription service is for, to make you understand how powerful you are, to help you understand what you're willing to put up with and what you're not, right? That's what it's for. And it's free for two weeks, so go check it out. It has everything you need to feel empowered, mindful, to learn to accept yourself for exactly who you are. That's what it's for. That's why I made it. It's to help women just like me who felt lost, overwhelmed, scared, and couldn't connect with their inner higher priestess. All right, who is next? Sorry, Miss K, I think I missed it. Keep tapping that screen, keep tapping that screen. Amber, this one's for you. And then we'll do Chris next because the mods obviously get a card. Amber W, Amber W, eight of cups reversed, obviously, right? Obviously you got this. Amber's taken my class, she knows tarot. You got this because things are really stressful right now. They're gonna be okay. And remember when we're going through things like this and you and I are gonna talk offline for sure. We're gonna have a little appointment, the two of us. Um, Remember when these things happen, it's because your guides are closing a door for you so that you can open a next new, even better chapter, right? It's gonna get better. I know it feels so unfair because of what you've been through already. And you know, I'm going through what you went through with your husband. And it is so unnerving and it is so scary to feel like someone you love is hurt and can't do things. And you have been for so long, you have been, you know, the breadwinner and keeping everything afloat and doing everything you can. You know, and so this is a huge sideline, but I think it might mean it's your turn, right? And it feels crazy and it feels unfair, but I think you're gonna find something so amazing. Just trust me, trust me, something magical is gonna happen. Okay, we're gonna do Chris real quick and then Chris is gonna throw me the next name, um, but we're gonna do Chris. Um, drop your first name, last initial. If you're new, just getting here, everybody gets a card and gets a reading. If you have a specific question and I don't answer it with that card pool, you can spend $10 via Cash App or Venmo and I'll answer that specific question for you. I'll give you a little mini reading. Um, 
and I work off a list. You know why I work off a list? I work off a list because my job is to make sure that we all control our nervous system. As women, we have so much anxiety and we carry so much weight. If I make you guys spam at me and spam at me and spam at me, that's not gonna help your nervous system. It's gonna make you feel unpicked, unloved, unseen, unchosen. That is not my job. My job is to make you feel seen, heard, validated, and I believe that everybody deserves to get the answers they need. Okay, this one's for Chris. Chris, queen of swords reverse. So there is a woman in your life, quite possibly, that same thing as I said about the man. When we have the reversal with the swords, there's a lot of anxiety. And it could be you, actually. You could have a lot of anxiety. You could feel like things just aren't connecting the way that you want them to. Just know that um, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. And that person's gonna be okay. We all go through times where we feel down or we feel overwhelmed. I had felt so overwhelmed for the last seven weeks, I forgot who I was. The day we moved into this house, I was so stressed out, I raged like a psycho. My Aries moon was like on complete fire. We all have these times, right? No matter how mindful we are, no matter how hard we try, we all have times that the stress is just too overwhelming. And that seems to be sort of the energy around this card. All right, who is next? I mean, you should have heard, I screamed like a siren wail when we were moving in because all of my stuff was coming in broken and I was crazy and I was so disappointed in myself. And then I thought, you know what? This is stressful and you're okay and you're allowed to get mad. And I told my inner child she could scream if she wanted to, but we were safe and I got through it. But you know, we still have these moments, right? All right, who is next? Who is next? Don't forget, drop your first name, last initial. If you're new here, everybody gets a card. Everybody gets a card. Because that is our favorite thing to do. All right, Chris, can you throw me the next name? If you can, I must have missed it. Don't forget, Lindsay M. Oh, I love that, thank you. Lindsay M, that is so great, the pinning. Lindsay M, this one's for you. Hot card, hot card coming in. We have another Knight of Wands, another little fuckboy energy situation. So what I said before, I'm gonna say again, ghost them, take the power back. They're so used to everything going their way, don't. When they ask you out again, say you have to go. They send you a text, don't respond for like five, six days. Watch them freak out. If they, any of it, right? It is so, so, so helpful to just ignore them take your power back. And again, that is what my subscription program is about. Being able to set boundaries, knowing your power, know who you are, connecting to your intuitive gut. You know, shadow work is so important, especially for women, because we are so trained to take care of everybody else. We never take care of ourselves. And that's what those fuck boys really love. They really love, you know, this, you know, give, 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 give as they take, 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 right? This will be great. Plus, it's how you bench a player. You bench a player by having so much confidence and being so in tune with yourself that every single man is dying to be with you. Trust me. That's like the magic recipe. Shadow work, men. They just all come like magnets. All right. Who is next? Who is next? Aaron W. Aaron W. Don't forget, keep tapping that screen for my moderators. Share this if you can so we can have more energy on here. Aaron W., Aaron W., King of Pentacles reversed. There's some financial stuff happening around you, Aaron. Um, you're worried, to be honest. You're worried about money. It could be your future, it could be anything, but there is a money, right? And pentacles also can be like housing. Maybe someone's broken a lease. I don't know why I'm feeling that, or you feel like you have to move, but there is something going on financially that's making you feel really scared, right? And I want you to know these things happen. It's kind of like what I just said to Amber. These things happen so that we can really understand what our needs are and what needs to happen. And, you know, we can look at our money our relationship with money. That's a big one with the tarot. The tarot always wants us working on our materialism and capitalism and fighting against it because as soul beings, it's not something we need. So just know that you're gonna have, all your necessities are gonna be met. Even if you feel like they won't, they will be, right? You're gonna be okay. You just need to believe that you're gonna be okay and that you maybe don't need everything that you think that you need. It's a very hard lesson. And it's a lesson that I get repeatedly but trust, trust in the process and know you're protected and that your spirit guides have you. And think of like three things you're grateful for every single morning. That helps me a lot when I'm worried about money. When I'm worried about money, I have to look around and be like, but you have a roof and you have toilet paper. You know, it's that you have electricity, right? So look at the things you do have. Um, it hel it's helpful, I promise. And I think our guides appreciate our gratitude. 
All right, who is next? I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Thank you for the love, you guys. Keep tapping that screen, keep tapping that screen. Aurora B, Aurora B. Here we go, six of cups. So this is a fun one because it means you're gonna connect or you're feeling something from your childhood. When it's this way, it's really positive. You could connect with a long lost childhood friend or maybe you have. Um, it could be a past love. When it's upright like this, it's a very positive thing. I don't, maybe you're gonna go get lunch at your favorite place to get lunch when you were a teenager. I'm not sure what it is, but this is definitely telling you to connect to your past. So if you've been wanting to reach out to someone, you've been wanting to do something like that, this is your sign to do it. And it will be positive. It will be a positive reunion. All right, who is next? You guys are doing great. Chris is doing great. Tap the screen for Chris. It's her very first time as my moderator, Mercy G. She is doing a wonderful time. Mercy G, if you have a specific question, you can cash up or Venmo me and I'll answer the specific question. Otherwise, we can just see what I pull. You are so welcome. Mercy G, page of swords reverse. So Mercy G, you are waiting for someone to reach out to you, kind of like that other person. You are waiting for this communication to come and it's communication that's important and it hasn't come yet. Trust that it's gonna come if it's supposed to come. If it doesn't come, it's because it's not supposed to be in your life. So I know it's hard to wait. Waiting for things is the hardest thing for all of us. But if it doesn't come, it's not meant to be. Okay, so if someone's not reaching out to you, if someone's not calling you, if someone's not getting back to you, sometimes you need to trust it. When we push it and make things happen, it usually ends up working out worse in the end, right? We've really got to listen to what our guides are telling us. And, you know, it's a big one when we're not getting the messages. All right, who is next? Thank you for the gifts. Oh. Hold on. Thank you for the gifts. Don't forget, if you do a $10 cash shop, please let me know because I'm not paying attention. Christina B. Christina B. Christina B. Death. So I said it again, and it, this is the scariest card in the deck. This is in the tower. Death means something's coming to an end. It's over. So if you're trying to make something work and you're still putting in a lot of effort, don't. This chapter's over. This was a season, right? Things come into our life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. This thing was a season. It's a karmic lesson. It's teaching you something. And part of what it's teaching you is when to walk away. So this chapter, this phase, this is over. Now this is a major arcana card, so it could be anything, right? It's not very specific. It could be anything in your life. But what it, I mean, this chapter is done and it's time for you to walk away. So definitely walk away. Please, if you can, don't use caps. I'm a stroke survivor, so the caps is the only way I can read the tiny little writing. It's really hard for me to see. Um, so good morning, good morning. Drop your first name, last initial. And my assistant, Chris, uh, Miss K is what her handle is, will um, put you on the list. Lori B, Lori B, here we go, Lori B, here we go. Um, Queen of Swords, I love this for you, Lori, because there was a time that you would take some shit, right? There was some time that you would put up with stuff. Maybe you were, maybe you're a reformed people pleaser. Maybe you're working on being a reformed people pleaser. This is your sign you're doing it you are in charge of what you put up with. You are in charge of what you will handle. And if you don't like it, you're walking away. And this is like the greatest card. So excited for you. All right, who's next? Oh, I forgot to put my do not disturb on. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. We have 20 more minutes, 20 more minutes. Eva R, Eva R, here we go. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You are feeling like you're putting all this work in and all this effort in and nothing is connecting. And that is hard, but I will tell you, it connects when the timing's right. You'll see if you follow me, um, if you're new here and you don't follow me, you probably haven't heard me say 75,000 million times divine timing. All I ever say is divine timing, divine timing, divine timing. When things aren't working out right now the way you want them to, the time isn't right and you just have to trust it will connect. It's gonna connect, just not right now. This is not a major arcana card. This is not the death. It's not saying it's over. This isn't the tower saying it's all ending. This is saying it's just not happening yet, but be patient, okay? Be patient. Hi, thank you for the gifts. You guys are so sweet. They mean the world to me. I am 
Um, this is my full-time job. This is my only income. So anything you do to help, the follows, the shares, the likes, um, mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle really fast. Leticia, Leticia. Hi, Leticia. Let's see what we got for you. All right, Leticia, Leticia. Here we go, page of wands. Somebody, something that you feel really passionately about is gonna be reaching out to you soon. So you're gonna get a text, an email, a call. Page of wands is something that like makes your insides. It's like if you, I always say with the wands when they're upright, it's like bibbity bobbity boo. If you could make a wish, what would it be? This is it, it's coming true. Um, and you'll get a text call. This is about a message. You're gonna get a message anytime, DM. All right, who is next? Who is next? Again, if you have a specific question, you can cash up or Venmo me. The link is in the bio. Just scroll down to the bottom and click it and it'll bring you right there. Maria L, Maria L, Maria L. Here we go. Ace of Wands, Maria L. There is something new and exciting coming into your life. Trust it. If you feel nervous, don't. This is gonna be passionate, exciting. You're gonna really feel it in your gut. Trust, trust the whole process. This is super, super exciting for you. So aces are so magical. It's all about new, right? New things. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and share. Tap that screen for my moderators. I have the best moderators in the business. They all help us leave feeling more seen, heard, and loved. And I so appreciate that. Daisy W. Daisy W. Page of Pentacles. You have a message coming about money. So we have two messages in a row. If you've been waiting for some money, you've been waiting for a check, you've been waiting for something, it's coming. It is coming and it's coming soon. So be prepared, check your mailbox, You know, check your bank account, something's coming in, some money's coming. Could be a message about a new job, it could be anything. It could be something that you've been sitting on Marketplace and hasn't sold and it's about to sell, but you will have a message about money. Um, so this deck is really old and it's retired. You can't really get them anymore. If you do get it, it's a counterfeit deck and I don't love that because I feel like it's got shitty energy. Um, in my Amazon storefront, which should be in my bio, uh, it has all my decks. If he has made more, it will be on Amazon and I follow the creator, so I know it's his. Um, but it's called the Housewives Tarot. Anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with the Housewives, always have been. Um, it's getting a little, it's been working every single day pretty much besides the little nine months it had off for, God, eight years. So I just pulled, picked another one. Here we go, Marcy G, Marcy G. Four of Pentacles, keep saving. This is about saving for your future. It's about creating the life you want. It's about being less materialistic. It's about getting that house, getting that thing that you've been saving for. It's about watching your investments grow, all of that. So if you are trying to get your money right, this is a sign that that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Um, and if you aren't getting your money right, this is a sign to start trying to get your money right. Hit um, the like, you guys. Keep tapping for my moderators. They are amazing. Oop. Um, I, God. Who's, I wish it said who's next. I just got a card, but um, I don't think we skipped you, but go ahead and drop your first name, last initial one more time. If we skipped you, it was a complete accident. Nobody does it on purpose, but make sure just leave your name, uh, maybe text Miss K so that she can, or, you know, attach the comment, whatever, so that she knows. Tori A, we would never intentionally skip somebody. Tori A, two of wands. So two of wands is interesting. This can be a friends with benefits situation a lot of the time. Um, it can be something that you're, you know, creating a business with someone at work. It can be, but you need to trust the collaboration. You need to trust if you have another person coming into your life to help you with a project or your love life or anything you feel passionately about, trust that you need the partner. Trust the partner right now because it's a good, it's a good fit. That was for Tori A. One more sip of coffee while I wait for the next name. How are you guys? How's everybody doing? Tell me how you're doing with your favorite emoji in comments. Samantha J, Samantha J. Here we go. Oop, hot card, hot card, hot card. Samantha J, five of swords. Okay, listen, Samantha, this is kind of a no-win situation. It's endless miscommunication. It's endless, you know, my favorite, there's a meme of this card. 
and it's everybody trying to put up a tent and the whole family fighting about how to get the tent up. You're in a situation right now where no one's gonna see eye to eye. I often, when I see this card, tell people, you know what, it's time for you to just bow down to get out of the conflict. So whatever that means, you know, accept defeat, say we have to agree to disagree, but this situation's not gonna end. It's gonna continually be in conflict. And you need to ask yourself, do you wanna be in a situation where there's constant conflict? And the truth is probably not right? You guys, it's almost like you're speaking different languages and that's not healthy for anybody. When you're in the right thing, I don't care to be out of the house anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Tammy S. Tammy S. Here we go. Tammy S. Drop your first name, last initial if you just got here and everybody gets a card. Tammy S. Justice. This could be a parking ticket. This could be a serious court case. This could be the way that people talk about you. Everything's gonna be going in your favor now. Everything's gonna be going in your favor. Yes, the list is open. Drop your first name, last initial. Everybody gets a card. We're going for about 15 more minutes. This is a great card. I told my story earlier about this card if you were on. Hopefully you heard it. Justice is a great card. It means things are gonna start moving in your favor. But if you felt like the world's sort of against you, that's all changing. All right, so drop your first name, last initial. Everybody gets a card. Miss K is keeping a list and giving me the names. If I could get the next name, I'm sorry, I missed it again. Sarah Howard. Hey, sweet Sarah. Sarah's one of my most regular customers, clients, and I adore her. Here we go, Sarah. Here we go. Ten of Swords. It's over. This is the end, okay? And then I see, Sarah, did you just pay me for a card? I'm going to, that's crazy, because Sarah just paid me at the exact same time. So we're going to keep going into this. Sarah, hold on. What was the question? Can you tell me what the question was? Let me, I can, hold on. See if I see it on here. Uh, medical question involving possible doctors and complete building and system change. Complete, yes, Sarah, it is time to completely change everything. This is it. Ten of Swords, as you know, you've also taken my class. So as you know, the Ten of Swords means it's over. It's done, right? No more of that. You're not getting the answers you need. You're leaving with more anxiety. I think that you need to take some time to really, really look at different doctors in the areas. Talk to your insurance. Fight everything. Fight everybody. Don't worry about the shit that people are talking because I know that you feel like you've been really medically gaslit and things aren't working out for you at all the way that you hoped. These doctors are just going to be, again, constant conflict. And when we're dealing with wands, they're putting your fire out. And when you're dealing with like health and like life and death stuff, your fire can't be out. You have to fight every day for your health. And you know that I've done this, right? So it's time for a complete tear down and rebuild. I'm actually surprised we haven't gotten the tower card. But um, yeah, they're just going to keep breaking your heart, right? And you can't have your doctors breaking your heart because those are the people that you need to depend on. So it's time for a complete rebuild. And I think, you know, I've said it before, I really want you to try to see a naturopath. I do think that that's more what you need, right? So um, I have one that's remote. If I haven't given you his contact, I, I think he could be great for you. Um, if that's something you're interested in, let me know if that's something you're interested in and I'll get that to you right away. I do think, um, and if he doesn't know about scoloderma, I guarantee you someone in the practice does. Okay. And I do think that's the route you're going to have to go. And I also think because it's remote and you're just doing blood tests, it won't be so hard on you physically to be doing all of this traveling. I think all this traveling is extraordinarily difficult for you. It's hard on your immune system. It's hard on your psyche and it's hard on your body. Right? So, all right, let's see who is next. I do do medi um, I am a medium, but I mostly do that um, on one-on-one -on -one appointments. If you want to make an appointment with me, the link's in the bio, and I do a ton of mediumship, as mo you know, and I have for a lot of people on here, so they can tell you, you know, their experience. But um, I try, it's so personal. It's not something I want to do really over a live. I used to, but I just, I don't feel comfortable with it. And sometimes the messages are just too private. Jackie M, Jackie M, here we go. Um, three of pentacles reverse, Jackie. So there's somebody interfering with your money or there's something going on here. Pay attention, something's happening. I don't know if the deductions are wrong on your W-2 or something and I don't know why I feel like that. If there was an accounting error at work, maybe you had um, 
some fraud or something. Can you just go look through all your money? Something's going on there. And I don't know what it is, but there's something going on. You could be going through a divorce and the lawyer's taking all your money. It could be something like that, but there's definitely something happening with your money. I got another cash app. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Hold on, give me one second. Oh, hi, it, how do I, Manny, is it Manny? Can you tell me what your question is, Manny? And I'll answer your question. If you can tell me in the comments your question, I'll answer it. And as you, I'm waiting for you to do that, go ahead and give me um, the other name while I wait for Manny's question. It's, is it, I hope, M-A-N-I-G-B-E? Oh, I wanna know how Nolan's feelings about me and what to expect anytime soon. Okay, hold, wait on that daisy. Can you pin that for me? I wanna know about Nolan feels about me and what to expect anytime soon. So I got the sun reversed for Nolan, which makes me feel like instead of making you feel safe, he makes you feel scared. And I don't love that. Listen, when it's the right relationship, you're always gonna feel safe. You're not gonna have to ask, does he love me? Ever, not one time. We ought to be like, does he love me? When my clients find the right one, they stop seeing me. They don't need me anymore. Then they'll come see me and they'll be like, oh, I have a question about work, right? But they're not asking about men. The right one always is gonna make you feel seen. Um, he seems to be pretty invested in work and like setting up his future, which I do like, and I see the attraction. There's a lot of drive there, um, but he's always, it's always money for him. And you can see the conflict is if he has to choose over you or money, he's always going to choose money. And that could be work. That could be gambling. That could be, I don't know what that is, but, um, and I just, this is not a great card. This means that he will break your heart. So I think maybe... I don't know, it's the energy around this isn't great, right? And it doesn't mean that he's not a great guy, it just means I don't think he's your guy, right? I just don't think it's the one, right? And I don't think you wanna force it. So as I've said before, you've heard me say it a lot of times, take the power back. If this is someone you're crazy about, things can change, you can set boundaries, but I think you need to take your power back. I think it's really important to stop giving it away to let somebody step on it, right? Let them earn it, let them crawl back. All right, who is next? Who is next? Oh yeah, please, can you guys tap the screen for my moderators? They're amazing, keep tap, tap, tapping that screen. Without them, I can't do it. Daisy W, here we go, Daisy W. Daisy W, Six of Cups, another connection from the past. And when it's up, often when I get the Six of Cups, it's reversed and it's because we're like stuck in some trauma or we're reliving something. This is great. This is saying that there's something from your past that you need to connect with, right? A lot of people read it as inner child healing. I do in reverse. I don't forward. Forward, it's more like in actual life, right? You're gonna connect with an old friend. Maybe you hadn't talked to someone in years, you'll reconnect, an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend could reach out. It could be anything, but um, something from the past is gonna happen and that's okay. You know, it's gonna be good. So it's worth it to reconnect. Mm. Coffee, Violet T, Violet T. We have about seven more minutes. So if you want to, um, if you haven't dropped your name yet, drop it, hopefully we can get it in. Violet, Violet, here we go. Nine of cups reversed. This is a tough one. When I see this card, it usually means that you're thinking about breaking up with somebody, thinking about leaving a marriage, but you don't want to admit it, right? It's deep in your subconscious. You know you're not happy, but you don't know how to get out. Listen, I was married for 20 years. I was in a very unhealthy relationship. I had no idea because I was so young when I got married. Um, trust that you need to listen to what your heart is saying. And if you're having trouble navigating these feelings and you feel really scared, that's what my subscriptions program's for. It's free for two weeks, download everything. You know, if you have to save money to get out, listen, download everything from there, use it to get yourself strong so that you can do whatever you need to do to feel like you have the courage to leave, okay? Or whatever it is you need to do. That's what that stuff's for. I want you guys to have it. Um, I had to work, I worked with somebody to do all of these things and it took me years to get out. Um, I created for you guys so that you can have all the tools you need to believe in yourself. All right, who is next? Yeah, yeah, you need to trust. And it's not your head that's saying run, 
It's your intuition. And I really, your subconscious is telling you that. So really listen to it. Go check out that two week subscription program. I want you to look at all the shadow work prompts, even if they're not around marriage, trust me, trust me. They're going to help you connect with what's going on. They're going to help your head and heart stop fighting so that your soul can scream and you can hear it, right? Alyssa M. Alyssa M. Alyssa M. Alyssa M. The chariot. Whatever it is that you have been manifesting, it's coming and it's coming fast. What happens when things start coming really, really fast is we get scared. And suddenly the things we thought we want, we ran away from. I want you to trust that you're ready for this. I want you to trust that you've got it. I want you to trust that you've been waiting and asking and manifesting for it for a reason. And here's the most important thing I want you to know. The most important thing I want you to know of all the things is that you deserve it, right? Because this is what we do. We start telling ourselves we don't deserve these things and then we run from them, but you deserve it and it's coming and it's coming fast, so be ready. And I'm excited for you. Um, all right, who is next? Who is next? Did we, um, Aurora, Aurora A, Aurora A. Um, Aurora A, we have death reversed. Death reversed means it's donezo, donezo, walk away. You know, death forward means it's starting to end. You know, this means, oh my God, get out. You should have been out forever ago. Stop giving this your energy. Walk away completely. If you can't, if you're in so much pain that that feels impossible, again, look at my Find Your Light subscription program that this is who I made it for. You can do this and you don't need this in your life. Whatever it is, it's not, it's over. All right, who is next? Who is next? I think we can do three more. Um, I think somebody said I missed them. Hold on, who's like a super regular? Um, no, I can't remember and I can't see it. I never wanna miss like one of my most regular people. Okay. Lance, that's why, Lance, why? Here we go, here we go. Oh God, so you're really going through it. Um, it's almost like you don't want me to pull, like your subconscious is like, don't pull a card. Lance isn't ready, hold on. Okay, here it is, here it is. Nine of Pentacles reversed. So this is a get your money right card, right? We talked about it. The Nine of Pentacles reversed means that so much more is going out than is coming in. So I'm gonna give you a tiny little thing to save $25 out of every single paycheck. And I want you to really save it somewhere where you can't see it, either like a bank account someplace else or like some lockbox you can't get into or something, right? But you need to start saving a little money in case of an emergency. And you may be in that emergency situation right now. Um, and listen, we all go through this, but this is your wake up call to start making sure you're saving a little money. All right. Oh, you are so welcome. I love being here and I'm so glad to be back. I'm gonna be here Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 8 a.m. Pacific time every morning. Um, you can count on that. Please follow me so you can see my TikToks and check out my website because I really do have something for everything and I try so hard. Um, the subscription program for Find Your Light Academy is like $11 a month um, for so much healing. All the healing things you could ever get. You'd spend thousands of dollars trying to get all of that. A lot of reversed cards today causes me to hesitate to discover what, you know, reversals aren't bad. So I think that that's a big misconception. Um, reversals aren't bad. They just mean, you know, listen, really listen, but they're not bad. There's no bad card in tarot. There really isn't. If you use tarot as a healing tool, there is no bad card. Tarot is here to help us discover what's going on, right? But there is no bad card, so don't think that. Even, I have to tell you, I've had some major tower moments in my life, major. You know, I've had strokes, I've been sick, I've had to learn to walk again, to eat again, to chew again, to talk again. Um, I've gone through custody battles where I thought I was never gonna see my kids. All of those things brought me here. They made me better. And I'm really, really grateful for all the things that like tried to destroy me because that's why I can be here and I can help you. Gina F, we got strength reversed. Um, this is a tough card. I used to get this card constantly when I was in my custody battle and divorce. Um, listen, when strength's reversed, we just feel like we can't do it anymore. 
We just honestly feel like things are so hard we can't go on. But I want you to know that they just get easier and you just get stronger, okay? And also these really hard things, it's because we're called, right? It's because we're called, it's because we're strong, it's because we can show others that we can make it through it. So I just want you to know you're gonna be okay, right? I know it doesn't, I can like feel it, like I wanna cry. Like I know you don't feel like you're gonna be okay, but listen, I know you're gonna be okay, all right? So I'm giving you the biggest virtual hug. I'm telling you it's gonna get better. You're gonna look back and you're gonna be like that poor girl one day. And that's important, right? That you tell yourself that you know that you've been going through it, but you're gonna be okay. All right, you guys, I think with that, we're going to end it. I will see you Monday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please give me a follow. And um, thanks for being here with us today. Have the best weekend. Bye.